Okay, this is a quick video overview of this 1972 Mustang Mach 1 that's on sale on eBay right now. If you check out the ad, uh, there's a detailed list of what's original, what's been added, and there's a Marty report as well. So it's a 1972 Q-Code car, which is the Trudeau and Cleveland Cobra Jet. And I believe I'm the third owner, and I bought it from the second owner. And the original owner had it painted black and had the T-tops put in. I bought it in September of 1983, drove it for two years, and it's been garaged since 1985. Um, the car itself has 120,000 miles on it. When I first bought it in 1983, I immediately put in a freshly rebuilt 1973 Trunk Cleveland short block with 71 Cobra Jet heads and the FMX transmission and I drove it for about two years. And I only put about 10,000 miles on it, which I drove it up until December 1985, and then I stopped driving it. I had also bought a 73 Torino, which had the same type of 351 Cleveland Cobra Jet engine, which my friend had rebuilt, and I eventually put it into this car. And it was after I stopped driving it. So right now it has the correct Q code 351 Cleveland Cobra Jet engine, and my friend had put about 1200 miles on it, just broken it in, and I maybe put a few hundred miles on it after that. So there's less than 3,000 miles on the rebuilt engine. So this is the correct 351 Cleveland Cobra Jet. Um, if you look in the eBay ad, I have the uh, receipt with all the parts, and I watched my friend rebuild it, do the whole thing, and so I eventually put it in here. Um, it's the four bolt mains. The original aluminum intake isn't there because uh, the 4300D carburetor is kind of hard to find, but I put an Offenhauser intake on there. And I also have the Carter AFB for it with an electric choke over to the side. So the car is complete. Everything's there to get it running, but it just needs a few things. Um, it would need a battery, of course. Uh, I'd probably recommend getting an electronic ignition, uh, you know, like distributor, and maybe fuel pump too. Otherwise, Everything's complete on the car to get it running. The only thing it needs, um, a few things. You know, you see there's no front bumper. Uh, I sold a 71 Mach 1, so I used the bumper for that. So it needs a front bumper and a gas tank. Uh, sometime in the 90s, some moisture or water must have accumulated in the gas tank, and it leaked, so it needs a gas tank. So front bumper, gas tank, electronic ignition maybe, um, and maybe the front grill. There's a, a, a piece missing from it, so you're probably getting your front belt with it too. So um, if you look at the Marty report, you can see what's original and a few things that have been added. But the most important thing is that it's it's virtually rust free. Um, you know, I bought it in 1983, drove it till '85, and you can see the body is perfectly straight, no accidents. It's only the second paint job, and it's in great shape. Garage since 1985. Uh, you can see the T-tops there that the original uh, owner had put in. And um, the interior is all black. Uh, there's only one driver's seat, so it needs a passenger seat too. So it's kind of hard to see the odometer there, but 120,000 miles on the car, less than 3,000 miles on the engine. And um, sometime in the late 80s, early 90s, um, I took off the fenders, sandblasted all the wells, took out the carpet, sandblasted the floor, kind of got it ready for storage since I wasn't going to drive anymore. So I sandblasted as much as I could and painted over everything so there wouldn't be any rust. 30 years garaged, great shape. Uh, have a look at the eBay ad, see all the details. And if you have any questions, just call me. I'll be in Baltimore next week. And um, you can just give me a call and ask me any questions.